Okay, welcome to the Augur meeting for this beautiful May 6th, uh, Siete de Mayo. <laughs> in case you missed Cinco de Mayo yesterday, you can always celebrate any particular day in Spanish if you choose. Um, so today, I thought we would start with, um, well, first of all, I guess, Gary, is there, do, do you have any, um, I feel I like mean, there was no, an open nothing pressing. I have a couple open PRs, um, but oh. you know, I don't I mean to, that. when did you toss uh, those? Middle of last week, just oh, had geez. a busy week. I, I did a couple of things that I needed. So, oh, okay. Better contributions for the, um, installation. Uh, stability and reliability of like loading repos. I'll go, I'll go review those. I, um, yeah, no worries. I was kind of like not working a lot on Thursday and Friday. Um, it's all good. So, um, I'll go back and look at those. Okay, so Gary has open PR. And there were a couple issues opened, I'll just note for the group that pertain to the installation. I don't think it was you that opened them, Gary. I think it was another individual. And there's some parts of our documentation that when you've experienced this as well, that just need to be removed because they refer to old parts of the system. So um, I welcome those PRs, but otherwise I'll see if I can get someone on the core team to do it. Sure. Um, strangely, I haven't been able to get a hold of, um, well, there was a, I had a, I had a master's student defend his uh, project last week and he actually did get a prototype of a side menu navigation kind of sorted out um, when we looked at the which is kind of interesting and useful because we looked at the um uh i'll just share it we, we looked at eight uh dash plotly and when you go into the docs dash plotly want to sell they want to sell you uh a service or another version of the software if you're interested in the side menu. So there's a version of Dash Plotly that you pay for that comes with a fully developed side menu. However, obviously we want to keep it open source. So uh, we've gone about an experiment just to sort of see what would be involved in building it out. And I've asked Troy to share that. I should have gotten the link to his fork, <laughs> um, but I didn't. <laughs> so uh, I'll have that ready the next time that we meet. Um, and then Emmanuel and I had just started to talk about design and things that were going on there. And so I think, um, Emmanuel, if, let's maybe continue that conversation. I was saying, I was asking, first of all, if maybe we want to meet every two weeks instead of every week, because some of the design stuff, you know, just takes time to work through and maybe a weekly meeting isn't entirely necessary. However, I'm open to a weekly meeting. I just thought I'd check the group and see what everybody thinks. Every other week would probably work better for me. Every other week, Kelly? Yeah, especially right now since I'm like, like fragmented so much on what I can work on. Like yeah. three months ago, I would have had weekly meeting worth of updates. Now it's, I just need more time to get to, through things. Yeah. And I, I I think that a lot of this work is kind of in the same situation that, you know, not a lot changes in a design and development cycle um, during the um, one week. Um, pardon me. Um, sorry, my wife is calling me and she's in St. Louis. So Sorry, sorry about that. Um, you got to see me coordinating, bringing uh, a backup battery and chips to my daughter at high school. Um, very exciting stuff. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, I'm sorry, Emmanuel. So I was, I think I was referring to the conversation you and I started, Emmanuel, and uh, you had started to explain um, some of the design work that you're beginning to do being more detailed and so, uh, I think I'll let you just explain. 
Yeah, I think um, what I said earlier was that um, we're trying to bring a little bit of structure into the design um, such that it's going to be easy for anyone to contribute. So we are creating a style guide, kind of a mini design system. We don't call it a design system because we don't, we don't plan to build some sort of um, massive components. But then style guide that composes of um, the colors, the typo, and um, a little bit of some foundation for the designs will be available. I think we also we are trying to document them so that it's available for anyone who wants to contribute can kind of have like a um a guide to use. So for the past three weeks, that's what we've been building, uh, me and Lami, and I think we are pretty much done at least for the most important part. So we start to churn out more designs lately because that's what really held us pause. So when I joined, I, the the there were different colors, different types that were being used. So we just want to have like a standard, sort of like a standard that we could use, like a style guide that everybody could use. Also going to be good for developers to um, have something, sort of rules to work with, not just picking random colors. So so like I said, more often now, we're going to be talking about more design in terms of um, what we kind of do. And also, we, me and Lami, we drew out like a roadmap, like a mini roadmap that could guide us into what needs to be done and what's kind of left. So, um, do, you, do you have anything you can share specifically? Yeah. Uh, uh, let me just pull up that in my screen right now. Yeah, I can. Um, I think you should be able to share if I stop sharing. Yeah, okay. One minute. I'll do that right now. Just pull the link from. Um, me and Lamis chat so I could pull it up on the screen. Okay. I'm showing sure you now. Okay. Yeah. So we sort of create like a roadmap, which uh, I think we we are done with most of this. Um, so that's where we are starting to um turn our mob design. I think this should be practically done. The only part that is not done here is the light mode, which um I told Lamy that we don't we shouldn't kind of go into what we might not necessarily be using right now, since we are going with the dark mode, just like something that we have right now live. So I think most of this is done. And um, we start to churn out more screens uh, in terms of the design of the, of the platform. So that's kind of the updates in terms of um, design. And also, just like I said, so now that we're gonna be having more updates, I don't know, maybe weekly might be, the, might be good for us to check in and um, give feedback in terms of um, what we are designing. Okay, so would you like to meet like is every other week frequently enough or do you think um, sorry is every other week frequently enough do you think Emmanuel? Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay. Um, I have one thought on something that I desire that's more aspirational than so it would be on a roadmap. But it, it, it's, it's cool. Um yeah, it would be more aspirational. Yeah, uh, is oh, this idea that I have is um, I would like to see the ability to compare repos or to to do comparisons between groups of repos. Um, and then I don't know exactly what that would look like, but it's just an aspirational kind of design goal that I have in mind, because I think a lot of times people are interested in seeing, um, you know, how does, how does my repo compare to this other repo in terms of the core metrics on Augur and 8 Not? Yeah, I think these are conversations that we can have um, once we, um, I think, starting from the Go through what you have first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we can start having those conversations where we 
start applying some of these designs to what we have right now, then maybe um, next week we could share ripple overview contributions, then uh, we could have conversations around it, see if there are feedbacks or how we could improve the experience, just like what you said now. So I think it's going to be better when we have uh, maybe sharing or reviewing, then we could get some feedback from there. Okay, that makes sense. I like the roadmap. Does anyone have any questions about the roadmap? I mean, these look like the core features that need to be fleshed out to me. And I think another thing uh, me and Lamy also talked is that we spoke about having some of these things, uh, um, having visibility of some of this um, roadmap on GitHub uh, so that probably uh, we could also um, relay progress over there. So I'm not sure how, how we can do that. Like having this, maybe having like a issue tag as design or have like um, where we can have this piece of this on GitHub. Yeah, there's a design tag, I'm pretty sure on 8 not. Oh, okay. So we can create some of these issues, right? Yeah, 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 I, th yeah I think so. Okay. All right, okay. I think that's pretty much the update we have right now from design. I think so, like I said, from last, from last week, we start to see some good amount of progress in terms of design, like visible ones. That's fantastic, thank you. That's great. Thank you. Um, anything else that anyone wants to bring up while we're here? Otherwise, I can give you back some of your time, like I've been doing, which is one of the reasons I've thought, well, maybe we should go to every other week. <laughs> okay. Well, this is um, this is a great updates manual. That's uh, very exciting stuff. And Gary, thank you for the pull requests I ignored and didn't respond to very quickly. Hey, that's all right but we'll address uh, during my next meeting <laughs> while well, I'm sort of paying attention to it. I have to, I have a faculty meeting for people who teach the algorithm sequence in my department. So um, exciting stuff. Bored out of my freaking mind and I have plenty of time to approve pull requests. So I've recorded this. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Sean. See you later. Thanks everyone. Right, bye, Charlie. Bye, Sean. Yeah, bye.